Hey, thank you so much for joining. My name is Anna, for those of you guys who don't know. Today we're going to be doing a look on this makeup look right here. Um, kind of like a smoky green date night tutorial. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off of camera. Um, because they do take me a little bit longer, but I just used the NYX Tame and Frame for my eyebrows in the color Espresso. And I just went ahead and primed my eyelids. And we're going to go into uh, my eyes, so I'm just going to zoom, zoom you guys in a little bit so you guys can see better. I have used and abused this palette. It's been one of my favorites since it came out. So we're going to go ahead and start with that one. We're just going to take a fluffy Morphe brush. This is the M504. And we're going to go ahead and take this color right here and take that and put that into our crease and this is just going to be our transition shade so all the other colors that we put on top of it kind of melt together and blend better i'm going to go ahead and take this really pretty brown shade and just deepen up that crease a little bit and we're going to be taking another fluffy brush this is the Amorphe R37 brush and we're just going to pick that up and start we're going to start at the outer corner of the crease and then just work our way in when it has less pigment on the brush Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and deepen our, our crease just a little bit more. Okay, and we're going to take a Morphe M513, and we're going to go ahead and pick up... We're actually going to go in with the James Charles palette. So we're going to go ahead and take this color right here, which is the color 10% off in the James Charles palette. We're going to go ahead and take the Morphe M513, and we're going to go ahead and put that into the crease some more. I really love this color. It's it's not just a basic brown. It's really pretty. It just I love it. So, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Anna. I am about to be 23 years old on March 7th. Um and I do live in Idaho. I live in a very small town. There's not really much to do. I mean, if you're a really outdoorsy person, then you would love it here. There's a lot of you know, outdoor activities and such. Um, so, but it's a really, really beautiful place. It really is. Um, it's just very small. So, that's where I'm from. I am married. I've been married for almost two years, and I have a three-year-old son named Anthony. He is the best thing in this world. I love him so much. Um, He's so cute. Uh, but yeah, that's a little bit about me. I started doing makeup since I was very, very young. Um, I've always loved it. I was not the best at it in high school by any means. I was very horrible, but it's something I've always really loved. Um, I've always loved playing with makeup and doing different things and now that we've done that we're gonna go ahead we're gonna deepen the crease even more but we're first gonna go ahead and put the color on our lids and then at the end we'll go ahead and do that just to make it look very green we're gonna go ahead and cut our crease with some concealer just like that and now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other way Okay, there we go. And the reason we did that is so that when we put the green on top, the color actually looks more vibrant as opposed to if you were to do it on a dry eyelid, um, the color's not really that amazing. We're going to go in with Daddy from the James Charles palette. It's this beautiful matte green right here. And we're going to go ahead and take a brush. This is the Morphe, one, Morphe M124. And we're just going to go ahead and pick that up and place that all over where we put the concealer. We're going to go ahead and take this really pretty shimmery green from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Ok, 
Okay, so we're going to take the same Morphe brush and we're actually going to wet it with some Fix Plus. I really need to restock on this. This stuff's amazing. It just makes the eyeshadows more vibrant, more pigmented, all that good stuff. And we're going to go ahead and take this green shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette. We're going to go ahead and pick, pick up some of that product. And then we're just going to go ahead and wet it with our Fix Plus. And then we're just going to pop that all on top of all the green that we just put on our eye. There we go. See how pretty that is for like a night out? Even St. Patrick's Day that's coming up, this would be a really cute look. Because it has green in it, so... Now we're going to go ahead and pick up that same color and we're going to go ahead and put it on our other, oops, on our other eye. And there we go. That's what we're going to do for the green. Now we're going to go back in and deepen in, deepen the outer corners. Uh, to deepen the outer corner, we're going to go ahead and take this shade in the James Charles palette, which is T. We're going to take that on the same M1, M513 that we had done, taken before. I'm gonna go ahead and place that in the inner corner, the outer corner. You wanna place you wanna place most of the pigment on the outside and then blend whatever is left on your brush on the crease and the inner crease. And when you're putting this shade on the outer corner, you also wanna kinda of touch the line of green just to blend it together. Just so there's not just green, a line and brown you want to kind of make it blended so it's okay if it goes a little bit into the green and we're actually going to go in with Code James from the James Charles palette and we're just going to take that uh, big fluffy brush we used at the beginning and we're just going to place that um, right here basically touching the eyeshadow and the brow bone just to give it a little bit more of a warmth to the look Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take Ring Light from that same palette, and we're going to go ahead and put that on our brow bone. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the face. Um, I still need my lashes and my mascara, but I like to do that at the end just because I feel like the powders that I put on my face kind of make my eyelashes look a little bit ashy so I'm gonna go ahead and skip that step to the end for primer I'm gonna go ahead and take the Dr. Brandt Pour No More Pores No More Luminizer Pores No More Luminizer Primer I can't speak um, I got this in my BoxyCharm and I absolutely love it I'm just gonna go ahead and take about that much just rub it with my fingers and then I'm just gonna go ahead and place that Everywhere. Now we're gonna go ahead and put um, some foundation on. Today I'm gonna be using the Born This Way foundation. I am in the shade Warm Beige. This is one of my absolute foundation, you guys. If you guys have never used this, I recommend it. The coverage is beautiful and it's so dewy. Um, like I said, I have dry skin, so I love the way it sits on my skin. Um, I love the coverage it gives me, and the color is so beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and take that, and we're just going to go ahead and dot it all over our face. If you guys want another foundation that's amazing if you guys want another foundation that's absolutely amazing the makeup revolution foundation stick is so bomb um and it's only like i want to say nine dollars i could be wrong but my point is it is very cheap and it's very full coverage it's very uh hydrating it's very dewy it's one of my absolute favorites i had it right in front of me and now i can't seem to find it I don't know where I put it, but go check that one out. It's amazing. Same with their concealer. That brand is... Their foundation and their concealer are what my favorite drugstore. Concealer and foundations. I have to say, 
They are so good and so inexpensive. So, I mean, you can't go wrong. So for concealer, we're gonna go ahead and take the Tarte Shape Tape. I am in the color light medium. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit on the chin, on our cupid's bow, that on the nose, and then down my nose. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit in between my eyebrows. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put um, like a v, v, I mean a triangle on our face. This might be a little bit too much, but that's how much you put on the other eye, so that's how much you gotta put on this side. We're gonna go ahead and take the same beauty blender, and we're gonna go ahead and blend that out. Leave me down in the comments what your guys' favorite concealer and foundation is. I really wanna try new ones, um, so let me know. Maybe I can try one of your guys' recommendations. I want to take it down a little bit. To set my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Too Faced um, Born This Week powder in the shade Translucent. It is one of my absolute favorites for my under eyes. It's not drying or make it look cakey or anything like that. It's very, very nice. Normally I use the Wet n Wild pressed powder. It's my absolute favorite. I've been using it for such a long time. I've gone through so many, you have no idea. But I can't seem to find it anywhere and I have not ordered it online, which I probably should. But, um, so today I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 240 Golden Beige. And this is what we're going to use to set our face with uh, the same. We're going to also use this to take off the bake. And this is why I don't do my lashes and mascara. That's what it's called. That's why I don't like to do my lashes and my mascara um, before is because I feel like it just leaves them really powdery. And so I'd rather just do that at the end. So now that our face is all set, we're going to go ahead and contour and bronze. So for contouring my face, I'm going to go ahead and take the Kylie bronzer, the Kylie bronzer in the shade Almond. This is one of her new bronzers that she just came out with. So we're going to go ahead and take this one and we're going to go ahead and take the Morphe M523, one of my favorite brushes to contour with just because it's very fluffy, but it's very um, thin and dense. It's really nice. We're going to go ahead and dip into the pan, tap off any excess. And then we're just going to go ahead and start where the top of your, what is this called? Damn it, I can't talk today. Where the top of your ear goes and you just kind of want to create a line. And you don't want to bring it all the way into your face, you kind of want to bring it halfway. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and take the bronzer, start at the top, start dragging it down like that. And then you want to blend up in like circular motions. Now we're going to go ahead and bronze our face. For that, we're going to take the Butter Bronzer um, by Physicians Formula. This is the deep bronzer. One of my favorite bronzers of all time. And we're going to go ahead and take this e.l.f. brush. I'm going to go ahead and dip into that bronzer. And with my bronzer, it's just kind of like to go everywhere. I love bronzer. I love bronzing my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it everywhere, kind of. I kind of like to focus it like on the tops of my cheek because I like when I put on my blush and my highlighter and everything like that I like it to kind of blend together I feel like it looks a lot better so it's kind of where I like to focus it on but just kind of rub it everywhere to be honest and we're gonna go ahead and take some and put that on our forehead just like so oh my gosh I almost forgot to conceal my double chin. I'm going to go ahead and back into the Kylie bronzer and we're just going to go ahead and lightly dust some on the edge of our jaw. I like to go in and place the product first and then I like to go in and blend in circular motions. 
Same with the back. Ding, 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 ding. Anyways. And for blush, we're going to uh, go ahead and take the Burt's Beast blush in Toasted Cinnamon. It's a very pretty color. And we're going to go ahead and take a Morphe E3 brush. I'm going to go ahead and dip into that blush. Pop that on the cheekbones. And then blend. It does have, as you, I don't know if you can tell, it has a sheen to it. So if you're someone who doesn't like highlight in general, but you do want to have a little nice glow, this is a perfect blush because it leaves you with that shimmeriness, but it's not glitter and it's not highlight. It's just very sort of natural. So I used to be someone who didn't even like blush. I didn't even understand the point of it. I always skipped it. I was like, why do we need blush, you know? And now I love, love blush. Now we're going to go ahead and finish our eyes. We're going to go ahead and take this, this brush from Luxie. It's the 213 eye shading brush. And we're going to go ahead and take that same shade from the James Charles palette. And we're going to put that basically all underneath the under eye. And you don't want to be super precise with this one. You just kind of want to blend it out. It's okay if it goes a little bit... Um, down if that makes sense so and we're gonna go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and we're gonna take this brown shade right here and we're gonna just we're gonna focus this mainly on the outer corner of our eye just gonna focus that on the outside blend it to the top shadow and then whatever is left when there's not that much pigment left on our brush you want to bring it in a little bit more. This is my favorite inner corner highlight brush. It is the Morphe M213. We're going to go ahead and take that same color ring light from the James Charles palette. And we're just going to go ahead and put that on our inner corner. Whoa. Blinding, man. What just happened here represents my life. Everything is going good and something just comes in and messes some shit up. I was blending this color into my inner corner and my ass picked up this one. Can you see it? Can you see that? We're going to say operation. Operation fix the makeup. Okay guys, we were able to fix it. Yay! So now we're going to go ahead and set our face before we go in with our highlight. We're going to be using one of my favorite setting sprays of all time. It is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This shit is bomb. Try it. It's like 15 bucks. Really good. We're going to go ahead and spray that all over our face. So now while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and the highlight on our face. We're going to be using the Kylie Highlight in the shade Fiji. Kylie Highlight in the shade Fiji. Oh, look at that. And now that we have all our face done, we're going to go ahead and go in with mascara and lashes. And for mascara, we're going to use Too Faced Better Than Sex. And we are going to coat the bottom lashes and the top lashes. And for lashes, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Lily Lashes in the style Randy. I'm just going to go ahead and pop those on and I'll be right back. So I just went ahead and popped on my lashes. And now we're going to go in with our lip. We're going to go in with the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Share to line our lips. And now we're going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Ashton. This is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks ever. The color, the formula, I just love everything about it. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you guys don't miss out on my videos. Make sure to follow me on all my other social medias. I will leave them 
in the description box below. I want to thank you guys so much for all your love and support. It means so much to me. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.